talking to this breeder for probably going on two weeks now back and forth about our collies and we we got a car and we left New York it was about we got up at like three this morning we drove down three hours we took a look it was like 50 dogs and it's like we couldn't decide that we had like 20 to choose from so we decided to be smart and just go home and have a think about it so we got about halfway back to New York and then we just started thinking about it and we seem a little bit better with the idea now so we've called her up the dog is still there um, and we're heading back to take a second look and we think it's a final look and then we're gonna come home with a, a new rough collie Long night, man. Uh, it was the first night. A lot of crying, which you didn't have with the Sheltie. Shelties don't start barking until they're about six. This one was okay. She just didn't understand. She's she she cried herself to sleep, but then after she fell asleep, she slept on my pants all night, and then she just came and slept next to me. Um, the two dogs seem to be settling in. I don't know if they're having a sleeping staring contest or what here. But they seem to be staring at each other. Uh, they're settling down. It's been less than 24 hours. I guess we shouldn't expect so much. So, is it harder than we thought? Oh, bleep, yeah. Okay, so it's been. This is seven days with the new dog. We should have listened to the breeder. They haven't actually settled in. We should have got a male and a female, and we got two females. And as the breeder said, that's why they call them bitches. Um, they've been fighting in the house a lot. I think it's mostly because the puppy doesn't understand dog socialization, so the puppy keeps attacking. Um, she had, uh, she's never been on asphalt or sidewalk, so she had sores, so she was out of the park for two days. And then she slipped on one step, so she was down yesterday and out of the park. So this is their third kind of quote pack walk in the park today. So they seem to be better. Hopefully everybody's exhausted. Hopefully we go home and everybody goes to sleep and we can uh, sit around and actually have an afternoon to ourselves without just dogs. Um, and we'll kind of go over some of the stuff that's going on at home and crate training and puppies and dog who likes to pee on the carpet and everything so yeah. so we've officially had the dog for like seven days now last Sunday at this time we were driving her home so we've learned a lot keeping them separate was pretty hard um, We've kind of like, we're kind of doing crate training, but on a large version. Um, we had a three-hour standoff this morning between the crying dog and me. 
It started with me actually crawling in and sleeping, laying there for about an hour while she cried. And uh, it seems like now we've got everybody settled. Um, but it's taken three hours to get to this, where she actually sleeps outside and I sleep inside. So hopefully this is a better solution for uh, when we go to work. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Come on, Mom. Let's <laughs> shove Dr. Brock and then we'll give it to the fine little skin. It's a Okay, you can actually off. keep it. That's fine. You can keep it. Just make sure we have a normal temperature. It's very cute. Here we are. First round of puppy shots. I don't know how many there are, but there's a ton of them. And they're always expensive. You want to lay down? To lay down? a lot. We've got into our routine. We found to leave food out all night for the puppy, which isn't really good for the Sheltie, because the Sheltie is a little bit overweight. And um, they seem to be getting along. They're bonding a little bit better. Um, the wake-up time is still rough. They, they get up early, but um, we are making progress, but we're all pretty tired. It seems to be all about the dogs. All right, so we're at week four. Things have settled down a little. We're still, we're still fighting a lot. Not fighting, we're playing. So the, the puppy's become bigger than the other dog, so that's been a change. So the, the collie's bigger than the Sheltie now, so I don't think they've quite adjusted to that. But they are getting along better. They are in the park together. They seem to be defensive of each other. They seem to be going together. Um, sleeping is hard. When we first got home, it was between 12 and 1. The puppy was up every night. And then it moved to 1 and 2, and now 2 to 3. And now I, now it's kind of about 3 a.m. We still got an hour of play in the morning. So we slept in till about 5 this morning, 5.15, which was pretty good. But they're slowly getting along. They are not always behaved this well, but they seem to be doing pretty good now. It was a rainy morning in the park, so they're both tired, which seems to calm everybody down. So. We're settling in. That's about it. It's been a long four weeks. All right. I'll well, let you know next week what's going on. Week six. 
second trip to the vet, second set of puppy shots, and um, just the usual puppy issues, parasites, worms, Lyme disease. But she doesn't like the vet anymore. She's 19.1 pounds, and about two weeks ago, she was at about 15 pounds. So she's put on four pounds of two weeks. There you go. Hello. Hello. Officially today, we are, seem like we're settling into a routine. Today was the first day they got left alone for any length of time together, and nobody's hurt or bit. Went to a baseball game, and they just slept the whole time, so that was promising. This one, in the past three weeks, has gone from 14 pounds to 19 pounds, so she's put on quite a bit of weight. She's pretty big now. She's learned to do the steps. This one seems to accept things. She doesn't like it. And, um, yeah, so I guess things are stabilizing a little bit. Six weeks and three days, I think things are getting better. Oh, I'm certainly popular. Hi, hello, hello, how are you? Hello girls, hello ladies, how are you buddy? How is everybody? Yes, this, this little monster has learned how to crawl up the couch and look out the window and it has, ow, it's been a new adventure, ow, a new adventure. Much like my earlobes and things in, we're hoping the puppy teeth are gone in another month. She's three and a half months, so soon the puppy teeth should come out and my shirt and sock should be saved. Hi, but this one's pretty good. She's doing pretty good. She's pissed off. She's a little mad. She doesn't know what's going on. This one doesn't have manners. Still hasn't learned play bow, has it? Playing involves attacking the tail from behind. All right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, change turns. Hello. Hello to you too. Hi, buddy. Yes, I know. Hi, buddy. Hello. Hello. Everybody likes a good scenting when they get home. Hello, buddy. How's your day? How was your day? Hmm. How was your day? Yes. Yes. Look out. She's coming behind you. She's going for your tail. She's going to get that tail. No, oh, no. Oh. We think somebody kind of likes us now. She's learned how to climb on the couch, cuddle time. Here comes the other one. We've got some jealousy issues. She's coming up though. So this is a rare quiet moment, Sunday afternoon. After you really exhaust your dogs. All right, go back to sleep. Back to sleep. No, you don't. This dog likes alcohol, unlike the other one. This one likes wine and gin and tonic. Hi. Hi, dirty nose. You've got a wet nose. You've got a wet nose. Come here, baby. Come here, Pia. Where's my girl? Buddy, you're still number one. You're still our number one, buddy. Oh, all right.
week seven now. We are we're settled in. We've had to replace our carpet. We now have child's mats on our floor, so you have to have mats on the floor in New York so the people below don't get mad, so that seems to have worked. We're still having accidents. The puppy is still going inside and sometimes wrong, but doing much, much better. Um, it's warm today, so the puppy doesn't like the heat. But um, we got to sleep in till five this morning, which is pretty late. Usually they're getting up about three. And the, the first dog, still a little bit upset with everything, still not happy, but we're getting better. So we're on our way to the dog cafe now, and we're gonna try and beat the heat. It's gonna be 90 today, so. We're off to Chateau Le Wolf to have some coffee and do some socialization with the dogs. All right. saturated in dog saliva. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know, buddy. I know, buddy. I missed you, too. All right. Seven weeks, one day. All right. Good girl. Huh? Good girl. All right. So we're about four months and two days, so we're going to wrap up part one here. We've got our uh, puppy teething gloves here, which are actually for hawks, but they work pretty good. They were like 20 bucks on Amazon. So when you've got a dog, hey, which wants to bite your hands, Hey, no biting each other. No biting. Anyways, come here. Sakura, this is your toy. So we read, and we've got a majestic pet bed, which got like four and a half stars on Amazon. And you can tag us at Majestic Pet Products. So here you go, there's your tag. So what we've done is we've got, well, she's supposed to be full size, so we're gonna see how big the bed actually looks. Because like I said, she's four months and a couple of days. So she's about half of her growing size now, they say. By about four months, that's about half of the way you go. Sakura, Sakura, let's open your box. Don't bite my hands, please. Are you ready? What's in here? All right, let's put this up. Can you open that for me, bud? You're not going to bite my gloves? Okay. We can put these down for now. What do you got, bud? You outgrew your other bed. You got too big, buddy. What's in here? What's in here? What is it? All right, can I open it? Please, can I open it? Okay. All right, that's not, that's not for you. This is for you, what's inside? What is it? This is your bed. This is your adult bed, are you ready for it? All right, here it comes. Here it comes, buddy. Buddy, it's like really packed. All right, thanks for helping, bud. Let's get it out, buddy. Let's get it out. Oh, there it is. What is it, buddy? It's like a gigantic sleeping bag. Wow. Wow. All right. Are you ready? Oh. Loser. No. This. 
This is yours, buddy. Oh my god, you're gonna be huge. I think it's a life raft from the Titanic. All right, come on, let's get in the life raft, everybody. Come on. Come here, in the boat. Come here, in the boat. In the boat, buddy. Good girl. All right, so this is gonna be the end of part one. If you like videos about dogs, herding dogs, puppies growing up, what it's actually like, like to raise a dog in New York City. Don't forget to subscribe, leave us some comments. If you have any questions, we try to reply as fast as we can. And uh, this is the bed at four months. We'll see what she looks like as an adult and if it lasts. All right, thanks for watching and please subscribe.